Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we're continuing our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play with our friends over at Thrustmaster. We're back on the Thrustmaster TSXW base and using the Ferrari 599 Racing Rim. And today I wanted to go in, unlock some more acc Actually, actually, speaking of accolades, I've never done that danger sign. Okay. Well, you know, you win some and you lose some. Anyways, today I wanted to focus on some accolades. We're up to over 310,000 of them. However, as you might notice in here, I've actually unlocked a lot of really rare cars like this, the Renault Megane. I've also unlocked this, the Dodge Charger RT, a super cool vehicle. There's even a Nissan Skyline R31 in there. Beautiful looking vehicle. Today though, I wanted to focus Focus on unlocking a very rare car that you can only get from accolades. That's this thing, the Corvette ZR1. The way you unlock this is by achieving 1 million skill score at any given point in the game. However, you might notice this accolade is actually locked, and before I unlock it, I have to do this accolade where I have to get 750,000. This is also locked behind this one. Today, I'm gonna need to pull in half a million, 750,000, and then one million skill score so we can check out the Corvette ZR1. So yeah, today's gonna be a really, really crazy day. I'm gonna need the perfect vehicle to do it. I've already got two really good options sitting in my garage. The Ford Racing Puma, that has a skills boost on it, or obviously the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento FE Edition, also a skill boost car. So I mean, I've obviously got a bunch of options for this. I could obviously go with the Sesto Elemento. That has a skills boost on it and it's X-Class, which would make my life really, really easy, but I feel like the car is kind of just overplayed, so I kind of want to use something else and I was thinking of coming back to Ford and jumping in this, the Ford Racing Puma. If you remember very early on in our Let's Play, in like episode 4 or 5, I unlocked this thing and it it was so, so good to drive. It has a stunt skills boost, which I think should make life easy for us today. If you don't have one of these, I would highly suggest looking out for them over on the auction house because they are just so, so fun to drive. Even if they're bone stock, you, you gotta give it a go. It's so good. I'm really not gonna mess around with the Ford Racing Puma too much. All I'm gonna do is basically upgrade the horsepower all the way, which is gonna make my life a thousand times easier when I get some skill points. After all of our upgrades, we weigh 2,200 pounds, nearly 900 horsepower. All right, this thing's gonna be pretty good. However, I'm gonna make my life even easier by swapping on some car mastery stuff. I'm gonna come in here and basically buy everything. I think the easiest place to do this is gonna be down at the sand dunes. I'm gonna be able to get jumps, drifts, collisions, and wreckages all over there. So yeah, let's head over to the dunes. Ford Racing Puma, away we go. I haven't even tuned my gears or anything for this thing. We're just gonna drive it around and let's get half a million skills on for this thing. So. Like I said, a bunch of drifts, a bunch of skids. Anyways, the reason why I wanted to use my Thrustmaster racing wheel for this is because it almost forces you to drive more realistically in the game. You need to properly think about what's coming and how to react to it because you've got to spin the wheel around. And then over the next little while, I had, let's say, some ups and downs. No! 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 I had a skill song in everything! No! Ford Racing Puma! What are you doing, buddy? No! All right, now we've got to do it, though. We've got a skill song? Yeah, no, this isn't a replay. It happened again. No! No! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Let's let that go in. Thank you very much. Let's go. Keep it going. So we've got that first achievement now. There we go, 750,000 deposited in. I didn't actually mean to do that. I was going for 100,000, but anyways, we'll keep on going. I'll try to get another skill song and then we should have this Corvette unlocked. Let's go. We got a skill song as I was on 87,000. 
No way. No way. Head back. 97,098. Stop, 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 stop. Yes! Let's go! Let's go, Ford Racing Puma! My camera says I've been recording for 56 minutes. Are you kidding me? All of that work to get the Corvette ZR1. The millionaire skill is officially done with. Let's go. Oh, that is insane. Car collection though. We've got some new vehicles. Oh. Anyways, I guess now is a good point to mention if you do want to check out the guys over at Thrustmaster, click the link in my description down below. They have a ton of different racing wheels for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox at a bunch of different price points. They've also got some really cool accessories as well, like a handbrake that you could pull or a shifter to go through all of your gears. It's really, really cool stuff, and it's what I've been using every single day. As always, thank Thank you so much to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video and for helping me out complete my workout a little bit earlier today. That is the Corvette ZR1 from 2019, a super, super rare car in the game. I don't actually know how many people have got a million skill score in the game, but that's gotta be one of the rarest cars. So I would highly suggest you check it out and maybe even unlock it. However, Corvette ZR1, why don't we make Make you a little bit faster. So we're already near the top of S1 class. Why don't we just make this thing the top of S1 class? So we've got some different engines. No way, we can have a thousand six hundred horsepower. I'm gonna rev all these up, okay? Okay, can somebody tell me what is going on with these three V12 swaps available for the Corvette? I get it that it's a big engine bay, but really V12s? I guess I'll toss this in 7.2 liter V8. Let's go. I'm also gonna toss on some all wheel drive. I have a feeling we're gonna be doing some more street scene missions. And a lot of those are in the rain, so I think that'll be good. Let's also, oh, if I supercharge it or twin turbo it, both of those make me S2, so I'll have to pass on those. In terms of my tires for this thing, though, it looks like we're already, yeah, we're already on semi-slick tires, which is actually my favorite tire compound in the game. So we'll keep those. We will make them a little bit thicker in the front and the rear, 345s in the rear. Let's also chuck on some sick looking uh, engine spacers in the front and the rear again. Not bad. After all of that stuff, we come to our performance and handling. We can add on some race springs. That's still pretty high up off the ground. We can also toss on rally, which makes it look like an off-roader and drift. Is it just me or is it like, the car not low enough, like especially in the rear there. You could definitely get away with slamming this car down a lot more, but I mean, Okay. I was also about to say we could go for some race weight reduction, but both sport and race make me go up to S2. So we're gonna have to pass on both of those. Let's just get a little bit extra horsepower in here. And there we go, top of S1 class. So after all of our upgrades, a nearly 900 horsepower Corvette with all wheel drive and fatter tires, we are gonna be able to fly around the corner. I guess last but not least for the Corvette, let's chuck a quick little paint job onto this thing and see what we've got. So obviously we've got all the standard Corvette colors. That is so sick. I love the blue. I love the yellow. The red's really good. Look at that color shifting paint job. Depending on what angle you're looking at it, the color kind of changes. It's still orange, but it's kind of a little bit different. Okay, it's not bad. Who knows, maybe this, oh, I was just about to say, who knows, maybe this paint job will look really, really good in the open world and at night at least and under the lights of the festival. Oh, oh, that's so sick. That is so mean looking, especially with the massive rear wing on here. Anyways, 
where do we want to take this thing? I really like the idea of going to some underground street scene races. So yeah, we've also got a bunch more of these to do. If we actually go back to the accolades, you can see what I mean. I'm really missing out on a lot of these. So let's try to do a couple of them. All right, Corvette, let's see what we got. We got a Tykin next to us. Watch him burn us off the line like a mad lad. The GTR though, and the old Charger. Very slow off the line, round the outside there. Already up to fifth place in this thing. Speaking of really not driving very well, um, the, the maximum speed in my Corvette with these gear ratios is 150 miles an hour, which is not good. Come on, Corvette, though. We really, really want some accolades. The accolades are looking good. Currently, at the time of recording this video, I'm ranked top 2% in the world for the amount of accolades we've got. I, I want to get top 1%, but there is a lot more work we need to do, so I've just, I've got to complete more race, races and win more races. So that's only going to happen if I absolutely send it past the AI. There's a Camaro. So, sorry, sorry about that one. Do not drive off the bridge. Let's go, Corvette. This thing's actually really, really good to drive. I don't know if it's just that I've been driving a Ford Racing Puma for a while, and I got used to how slippery and slidey that thing was, but this feels like, I don't know, like a proper race car, which I guess it is, so I shouldn't be surprised. And I'm using the wheel, so it even more amplifies that feeling, but... I don't know, this feels properly quick. It might also be because it maxes out at 150 and I can take basically every single corner flat, but you know. Can I just say those brake lights are also ridiculous out here? I've never had a brake light that fills my entire screen before. That is ridiculous. Anyways, this is actually going really well. Yeah, this is what I mean. I can take all the corners flat, but I maxed out at 150. Oh, mistakes were definitely made. I'm really lucky that the AI isn't a little bit faster for this race because uh, I, I would not be winning. <laughs> but let's go. I will gladly cheese the system there. Corvette, that was a really cool race. A really fun racetrack, actually. Some really nice corners. Let's go, though. That's going to be some solid accolades. Nearly 6,000 XP for that. That's not bad at all. I think we need to, right away though, fix up those gear ratio- Bro, bro, what do you even call them? Okay, Corvette, race number two for you, this time with some fixed up gear ratios. So we're gonna be a little bit slower off of the line, but we're gonna have a way, way better top speed going into these straights and everything like that. Like this thing feels so good to drive on a wheel. It's just ridiculous. Whoa! All of the AI runs it wide. We go up to first as the Tykin rejoins the circuit, but a little bit slowly. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, though, this race is just a lot of really tight corners. I probably could have got away on this track with our super short gear ratios. There we go. Reel in the top speed. We're already doing 160, going around a corner, 170, and we're going up to sixth gear. That is more like it. Let's go, Corvette. Thank you very much, though, Corvette ZR1. What an absolute beast. All four wheels up into the air, jumping it across the line and into the off-road section. Into the off-road section. Corvette. Huh. Trust me, this will actually make a lot of sense. Let me go for the off-road tires. Look at my class. It goes from the top of S1 class down to the middle of S1 class. Now I can either toss on a big old twin turbo or I could go for some weight reduction. What is more important for this thing? You know what? I feel like the horsepower was kind of good. Let's go for some weight reduction on this and then let's add up our horsepower slowly with some more of these. I'm not gonna lie, the Corvette looks ridiculous like this, but you know, maybe, maybe. Here's a nice little circuit race. Half of the race is on the road and the other half is off-road, yes. 
Let's give that a go. All right, Corvette, we're definitely gonna be destroying some supercars today. We've got some Ferraris, Lamborghinis, there's a Porsche 911, and everything in between, even a Catrum out here. Anyways, let's put these off-road tires to the test and see if a Corvette ZR1 can do off-roading. We definitely have very, very little grip with this thing but I don't think anybody in this race has that much grip, so I've just, I've kind of got to send it. I've kind of just left the car in sixth gear. Okay, this thing is actually a death trap though, on road, with a little bit of rain on the road. It has no grip. It's sliding out from underneath me, even with our all wheel drive. All right, if I dig deep, dig deep, catch up to the AI, come on. I'm really slow on the tarmac. I've got to do all my catch up off road. Come on. Here we go. Gaining, gaining, gaining on the guys in front. This is actually really nice. This is really nice to drive off road. Can somebody please tell me how I made a Corvette actually drive off road? Not just okay, but well. Okay, other than the jump. Other than the jump, we are looking so good. Up the inside on the Porsche. I've got grip for days off-road. On-road, I struggle, but we're up to second. Okay, one more guy. One more. That's it. Dig deep. Oh, wow. Look how far the guy in first place is. I genuinely do not know if I can catch that up. I'm going to try. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it off-road. Come on, Corvette. Send it. I have no idea what that guy's even driving, but I've just got to just push. Just push and fly. Come on. I'm actually the world's greatest rally driver. Definitely no poo came out. Holy, holy Corvette. Where is this coming from? Where is all of this driving skill just coming from? I'm being beaten by a Morris Minor. Are you having a laugh? Okay, go, go Corvette, go. I'm trying to abuse all of the checkpoint limits. Go, 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 go. No, 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 Corvette. That was so, so sick though. You are kidding me. All right, the on-road build was good, but that was godly. Like, look at the lap time out of that thing. You know what, Corvette? Let's wrap this up with a little off-road speed zone, okay? I want to see if you've really got what it takes. So we're all the way out in the jungle for this speed trap. Three stars is 110 miles an hour. Come on, buddy. Let's see if you really are as good as I think you are off-road. Cut the corner a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Edit, edit, edit that bit out, please. Come on, Corvette. If I'm actually gonna do this, I'm gonna need to be very aggressive on these corner cuts. Use the off-road tire compound grip. Jump it through, through the right-hander. Another right-hander. Three stars! Let's go, Corvette! That was a struggle. But that was so sick. That is a huge amount of accolades for the brown vehicle. No lie, I knew the Corvette was going to be good at on-road driving. I had no idea. It was going to be so good at off-road driving. I think it's a combination of that massive rear wing and the enormous tires that we've got on this thing. Thanks so much to the Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. If you do want to check them out or any of the wheels they make, click the link in my description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon with some more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. See you then. Bye.